in the new whip we're driving a suzuki now um so yeah shout out to magnalesi car dealership up in cheshire hope i said that right they actually got someone to drive the car down to me in south wales um big shout out to rowan who i just met i just dropped him to the station now for that's like the least i could do um he had like the coolest jamaican accent ever no lie absolutely loved his accent um really positive good vibes guy so big thank you to him as well um this is like the biggest car i've driven in years maybe ever for the past two the past my last car was tiny it's been written off someone it wasn't like a bad accident someone just went into me um so i thought oh, it's time to get a new car so i got this bad boy um and this is actually a big moment for me because I'm not really someone that cares about like I've never cared about cars like I'm not really so I don't even care about brands to be honest like I'm not that type of person um, but the reason this car is special to me is this, this is the first car over 10k that I've bought for myself this is the first car I've had that's over 10k so I know to like some of you that's like it's not that much but to me this is like a milestone like I it, I did all this myself so I picked this car myself like I love it I love it. I feel a lot more masculine than my last few cars. I'll do some running. For those of you who don't know, I absolutely hate running. I hate it. I know I'm a personal trainer. I hate running. I've been the guy that's been shredded without even having to do any running because you don't have to. Like people keep getting it confused. They think like to lose weight you have to run or like do intense cardio. You don't. I literally, obviously, I did do cardio, but it was literally walking um, when I did that competition years ago. And even still, like I still stay quite lean year round. But I've been doing some running this January for two reasons. Uh, I'm doing a charity 50 miles in January run. So you gotta just accumulate 50 miles throughout the, the month. Um, and I, I'm doing it for a charity called Maggie's Cardiff. So it's a charity that's local to me. Um, they do have it nationwide, but the but there is a you know a venue near where I live um, in Cardiff, and basically they work with people. Um, they, they support people who have cancer. So they support them not necessarily in like a pharmaceutical way. It's, it's more so like giving them the support they need, giving them and their families the support they need. Um, they have like these kind of like venues that people with cancer can go to for you know help with well-being mental well-being just a place to go to get away from everything to chill out um so it's a, it's a great cause so yeah i'm doing it for that and also because i hate running i thought i would start 2022 20 what? 2022 by doing something i absolutely hate and conquering my inner bitch so i'm halfway uh, i'm over halfway through doing this i think i've done like 31 miles out of 50. i'm gonna run another three today uh, and I'm hoping to, I'm going to just literally bash it out now because I, I absolutely hate running. Like, I'm not bad at it. I dread it. I don't know about you guys. I cannot stand it. I get so bored so quickly. So I'm going to get three miles done today. I'll probably do another three tomorrow. I'm just going to try and get this done as quick as I can now. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm here with Gerald. And uh, <laughs> uh, so, Gerald, what advice would you give to people this January who are just starting their fitness journey on how they can continue after January and make it a lifestyle, not just a month? Well, my advice would probably try and train or work out or do whatever you've chosen to do, maybe with a friend, partner, uh, because I think it's possibly easier because as you get into the month, you start to wane a little bit. I think if you've got someone egging you on, I think it's much That's much true, better. like a, a friend or a trainer. A trainer, or a... yeah. That's what I learned. I've got a trainer, I've got no friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just latch on to someone at the gym. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I always, always watch the good people at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that are good at it. Yeah, so watch them at the gym, watch people, okay, people. <laughs> So 
So I'm just finishing up with uh, my online coaching check-ins. Although online coaching is, you know, technically personal training, I actually consider it almost like a separate business or a separate entity because I have an entirely different set of clients for my online coaching to that of my personal training. And the online coaching covers the entire world. So you don't have to be from my area to do this. Uh, I have a client over in America. I have several in England. Um, I got one up Scotland. I got someone has just gone around Europe. They're everywhere. Um, and what the online coaching features, if you are interested in joining my team, because this is like the growing thing now. And to be honest, this is where I actually see the future of personal training going, although personal training does have its place definitely because you can't monitor form, etc., over a computer. Um, but basically it's like a weekly workout program that I designed for you. Uh, you follow it, you enter the information on there, like the weights you're lifting, etc. I then set you targets on what to do on how we can increase your strength or improve at certain exercises. Um, we also have a, a weekly record, weight recording section where the client enters their weight. I then advise them on if they need to decrease or increase their calories, whether we need to tweak their macronutrients, so protein, carbs, and fats. Um, so yeah, this is like, it's kind of like a side hustle next to my personal training. You know, I, I don't make more off this than I do personal training. Um, but the goal is I do want this to overtake the personal training, um, in that sense, because this is something I can do wherever, whenever, as long as I've got my laptop with me, or I don't even need my laptop. I've got the app on my phone. Um, but it's something I can take with me. So if I wanted to go traveling or I wanted to move away, um, or you can just go on holiday, you know, this is what I can take with me. So this is kind of like, it's like a mobile business that I can take with me alongside my personal training. So I'm gonna finish up here and I'm gonna drive down to Llanelli where I'm modeling tonight for a very exciting gig. Um, and look forward to seeing you there. You continue a cardigan in with that on a chenille and horn, chenille and robust a velvet and the vest in too long red. In with that, a jersey Lyle and Scott. My jersey got the board and robust truches yawn a fleece to bound. My horn and tumble of a seed done as I got a crown and never seen boosig, but a bit of tumble. All right, and that is the end of the day. It is half seven, uh, just gone. I got to drive home now. Um, if you've watched the whole video, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed a day in my life. Uh, if you don't follow me on other socials, please go do that on Instagram and TikTok, Jack Teruskio Thomas. You're not going to spell that, so I put it on the screen for you. So uh, go follow me on those if you don't already, and thank you for watching the whole video.